Hey you guys doing? Welcome back to my channel. I've got a package. Um, I know it's it's Sunday today. It didn't it wasn't delivered on a Sunday. What happened? I've got a bit of a rant basically that I want to get off my chest. The Royal Mail, they've really screwed up basically. Um, the Royal Mint emailed me on Wednesday saying they've posted this out. So I was hoping to get it on Thursday or Friday. Apparently it was delivered on Thursday. However, it was delivered to my neighbours. Uh, the Royal Mint, the Royal Mail, didn't leave a card in the post box, in the letterbox. Um, they just left it next door, and, and they went off. Uh, and this is meant to be signed. It's meant to be a signed delivery. Now, obviously, because of what's happening around the world, the uh, the COVID-19, what they do in this country is um, they leave it at your your address. And then they sign it themselves on the right CV19. But uh, this wasn't delivered to me, this was delivered to my neighbour. They didn't leave a card to my letterbox to let me know it was at my neighbour's. Now, luckily my neighbours are good people. They handed it uh, over yesterday in the evening, so they must have forgot that it was with them. And then they sent the kids around yesterday evening to say that this is your package here. But yeah, I mean, I've had it in the past, my James Bond coins. They left, the Royal Mail left it at my doorstep and went away and said that it was signed and it was delivered. Um, imagine if that was two ounces of gold and on a second hand market I've seen the James Bond coins sell for like eight, nine grand and they're just going to leave it at your doorstep and, and walk away. Usually other, other um, delivery companies, they usually leave it by the bin, hidden, tucked away by the bin beside the bin and they'll leave a card through the letterbox to let you know that it's being delivered and it's it's waiting for you beside the bin. Sometimes I'm in the Royal Mail. I ordered some books and it couldn't fit for the letterbox. Now this can't fit for the letterbox. The books can't fit for the letterbox. They didn't leave the books by the doorstep. They sent the books back to the depot, sent me a little red card saying pick you up whenever you're free. So I'm not sure why when it comes with these, they just they leave it at your doorstep or they leave it at your neighbours. It's uh, it is incredibly stupid of them. I mean, imagine if this was gold, a bar of gold, and it was just left at my neighbours, and I had no idea as well. Because when I went on the website to track it, it says delivered, and it doesn't tell me where it's delivered at. You just assume it's at your address. So it's it's annoying frustrating and kind of scary as well definitely when you spend a lot of money now I reckon this is the piglet coin the Winnie the Pooh Winnie the Pooh 50p piglet coin so I'm just gonna get this open and we'll have a look Whoa. <laughs> my tripod almost fell over Okay, so there's paperwork in there, it's probably in my invoice. And some brown paper. And this is the box. Yep, it's the piglet one. It's a nice design. 2020 UK 50p silver proof coin. Okay. Okay, that's really cute. If you want to pause this video and give it a, a read. But I like the artwork and I like this. This is cute. Got a spider in the back. <laughs> okay. That's nice. It's got the um he's got the red t-shirt on. Okay, I got number 6764 from a maximum 
of 18,010. Well, let's get to the coin. There you go. Brilliant. I like this um, this glass, this Perspex glass. It's got a, it's all they've always got a different design. So, um, in terms of the box, they've always been the same, all three of them. But uh, on here, it's a nice design. So you got Christopher Robin there, you got Winnie the Pooh. And you've got the coin in the middle. Now this this is magnetic, so let me just get this open and pop the coin out. Brilliant. So I can't see any flaws on this. Let's check it the other way around. Nice. So I like the frosting that's on the coin. The silver proof coin, it looks amazing. In terms of the actual design, I think this one's kind of basic. Let me bring it closer. Mm. Yeah, it's kind of basic. It's piglet blowing the flower, and I think that's a bee over there. It's not my favourite design, out of the three. I've got them over here. So this is my favourite, it's the Christopher Robin one, then you've got Winnie the Pooh, then you've got Piglet. So for 2020, that will be it this year, for this series. There's three more coins coming out next year, with three different characters, I'm not sure which ones, or what. Actually did I give you the date? I'm not sure. Well, they're coming out next year anyway. But for 2020, the series is completed. Nice, so the coin's nice. It's, can't see any blemishes, but I'll have to have a look afterwards. Because this is the first time I'm seeing it, so once I take it away and have a, have a good look at the coin. But it looks perfect. I love this frosting. Can you see this frosting here with the queen's head? It looks incredible. That's the best thing about the silver proof coins. So yeah, I've got all three. Got my other boxes here. Christopher Robin box and Winnie the Pooh box. So I'll put these away. Oh, I can't hold all three. <laughs> okay, brilliant. So what do you guys think about this coin? Did you get one? Was yours in a, in a good state? I've seen a lot of videos online and I've seen a lot of pictures on the forums. Um, the quality control from the Royal Mint this year have been absolutely nuts. Uh, but luckily for me, my coins have come out pretty flawless. I mean, I've not had a good look at this yet, but it looks, looks perfect. I can't see any blemishes anywhere. Brilliant. So, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. Please subscribe. And... Um, Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.